Hello guys, welcome to Nice Tech Info. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to enable uh, SSH for root on Ubuntu 2204. So without further ado, let's begin this tutorial. Okay, so first off, we're going to log in. Uh, as you can see, we're kind of logged out uh, like we were in the last video. So we're going to choose our same username and our password. It would help if I were to type that incorrectly, though. Okay, so as you can see, we are now in the uh, system, and we are currently the uh, user. So user one at UWU 2204 for NTI. Now we want to have root. Now normally when you want to use SSH, so in order to access this computer remotely, you would only be allowed to use the user account but not the root account. You can still use the root account but you can't log into it directly. Let me show you a demonstration. As you can see I'm now in my um, SSH client, this I'm using Putty by the way. So if I were to type in the IP address which in our case was 192.168.1.94 <clears throat> now if we were to go into um, if we were to log in as root you can see that nothing happens and I am constantly denied by the system no matter what I type in, even if I type in the correct password, which is what you want, that's actually what I did first, you can see that I'm denied access. So it will not work. However, if I were to go back into my SSH client and type in the IP address again, but this time use user1, if I type in the password again, you can see I'm in the system and everything works. So how do we fix this problem? Well, we can actually do it in this SSH client right now if we wanted to, but just for the purpose of this video and so it's just so people don't find it confusing, we're going to go back into the uh, main console. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so we are now in the main console of the uh, machine. We're once again logged in as user1. Uh, so what we're going to do first, we're going to type in sudo su. Going to enter our password. As you can see, we are now root. Now, this is not the official route that we were talking about earlier, just now, in the SSH client. This is just if you wanted to use root uh, while in the system. Um, but some things do require uh, you to have root, uh, just log in straight away, and plus it can be helpful if you just want to get into it straight away. For instance, on a Debian machine, you do kind of need root to, to get things started. So, um, same thing applies for Ubuntu, but it's a bit more simpler. And while you can still use the regular user account, so user1, uh, sometimes it's just better to have root uh, login straight away. So um, what we're going to do now, we're going to uh, cd here and clear there. Okay, so now we need to go nano slash, you know, sorry, nano cd slash etc slash ssh slash ssh sshd underscore config and click enter. Click uh, do control X in case if you get that. And then we're just going to look down until we see permit root login, prohibit password. So this line right here. So we're going to remove the uh, hash first so it's no longer commented out. And we're going to change permit, prohibit password to yes. We're then going to click on, okay, we're then going to do control and hit O to save it. Control and X clear to get the mask interface and we're then good to go also just to make sure that things work we're going to do system if I can type that correctly system CTL restart SSH then we should be good to go so now if we were to go back into our SSH client and if we were to type in the IP address again But this time with root, and we don't turn our password again. You can see we still deny access. That's also because we need to change the password. 
So what we're going to do now, we're just going to go back into the um, system here. And we're also just going to do sudo password. So new password is what the same password you would have. Normally, if you want to, you can have a separate root password if you really wanted to. But I'm just going to use the same one like I would for the user account. Be clear on that. Now, if we go back into it. You can see we are now in the system and everything works absolutely fine. And that's it. Hopefully this video has been helpful. If you would like to request a video, you can leave your comments in the comment section below or you can check out our Discord server, our Instagram and Twitter pages, which are the links in the video description. Thank you very much for watching.